Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, a cartoonist and author of many books on how to draw. Today I'd like to show you uh, a couple techniques about drawing eyes. A lot of times we think in terms of eye expressions, and that's great. We always think about it in terms of eye shapes. You can create character not just by expression, but by the shapes. So let's start off something really rough just to get us there. And I could darken this in at the end. It's a shape here for the face. Try to make it a little even, like that. And we'll put the center line down the middle and the eye line this way. So let's say we're going to, we're going to do a, so these kind of fun ovals. These are pretty popular for eyes. These sort of flattened ovals. Very cartoony look. And when you have that often, the way to go on this is to float the eyeball, the pupil, in the middle of the eyes. Kind of do that by leaving them in the middle, not kind of together. Uh, a regular look has the eyeballs coming toward themselves a little bit. That's how it looks when someone looks right at you. When you spread them apart, as you can see here, it looks a little like the staring, but it's a fun look. So then we use some straight and short eyelashes as part of this type of face. Nice curved and high eyebrow. Let's give her, starts here, but we'll eliminate the bridge of the nose and just give a little bit of a curl for the nose like this. And Maybe she's unhappy about something. Kind of gives her a little more expression. Like this. Just a little mouth. And we'll give her some hair off the top of the head. Here's the part. So we'll have it come out from the part and it builds up a little around the face. Like this. Bring it down. A little flip at the end. Like that. Bring it here and have it come in front of the face. So we'll give some bangs here. And I will do this over again in black so you can see it. And the flip coming in front of the face is a nice look. And now we can kind of slender that out a little bit because that was the beginning sketches are only to get you started. You know, you try to get it right, but it's just basically to start the drawing, you make corrections as you go along. Okay. So now, that's kind of a good look. But suppose that I say, I'm going to change the eyes. Just the eyes. Let's see if the shape of the eyes makes so much of a difference. Okay, so. Now I'll make them sort of almond. They're going to be more tapered. So I will do that, and I will now make the top darker than the bottom. And I will slenderize those eyelashes like this. Instead of sharp little lines, kind of slender, slender lines that kind of guide outward. We'll use a bigger eyeball. That's touching or almost touching the top of the eyes. Like this. And put this a little further back. A little touch further back. Okay. And a little bit of a crease for the upper eyelid. And to just shift something a little bit a little bit, we'll just change a little bit of that very, very simple mouth. Looking a little different, isn't it? It's looking a little different, and we've hardly made a change. It's so little, but it's the eyes. That's what you want to remember, is if you really want to change the look of a character, you want to focus on the things that make the biggest difference. So if you focus on the eyes, you don't have to make a million little changes. The eyes are a big enough change to make the character look different. And did you know that the, the way most people look at people is with a top eyelid touching the top of the eye? See, it doesn't look sleepy, it just looks 
normal. So let's keep that slender look by curving the bottom. And eyebrows stay the same. You made a little change in the mouth. Lower lip, a little shadow there. Always put a little shadow on the lower lip. And taper that bottom of the, the head. And I don't think I'm going to make it connect here. I think it's funnier if it just goes right down into a neck. A couple of brushed back lines like that and I thicken the upper eyelid a little bit more and here's that curl of a nose bring this in and bring this in same level when I when I make sure something's the same level what I frequently do is I go like this I just measure it and I start drawing and then I measure it and I start drawing it's kind of a muscle memory thing and it helps side. See the center line helps in drawing hair because that's where usually the, ba the bangs are, you know, part. And I will give this character just a little bit of shading up front on an upper eyelid. Another difference from the other one on the upper lip. There you go. She's different. She's the same character, but her look is different. So I hope that was a helpful tutorial. And thank you for joining me. You can find my books everywhere. Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, and your favorite booksellers. And I have new videos every Monday, so please subscribe. Bye-bye.